Right, creeper. Surprise. No! Ooh! This has the potential to be the most annoying episode of Minecraft Hardcore so far. So strap yourselves in, leave a like, see if we can get to 100,000 again, because today is going to be interesting. Today, well, last time, actually, we built this, which was frustrating. Basically, a villager test tube. They're still very close, as you can see. <laughs> and we also built this, which I'm unsure whether it works yet, but we've got villagers being born in test tubes, and they are doing our work for us. No, it's not weird. And it is about to get weirder, actually. Because today, I want to work towards building an iron farm because we have a quest to complete. Um, and one of them is summon an iron golem. I don't know whether that means we can just spawn one in or whether it can naturally spawn in. I'm unsure yet, but I want to make an iron farm anyway because we're going to need lots of iron because I'm lazy and so is this guy. However, to make an iron farm, we need a name tag because you need zombies to scale your villagers, which summons in iron golems. Now, um, I don't have one of those. I do not have a name tag, even though we found a decent amount of dungeons. So I thought why don't we try these? We've randomly acquired these in our dungeon trips, and I think we might be able to use them to get name tags. Actually, is that true? I don't know. We're going to try it anyway. Actually, we could fish off of here. That's a great idea. Let's see what happens. If we can get a name tag, that would be ridiculously lucky and also great. If not, we can just cook the fish because we are going to need food. Oh, oh, oh. We got a fish and we got an achievement as well. We do need to work towards doing all of the achievements in this world too. And there are extra ones because of the data pack we've got too. That just gives that extra bit of challenge, which is which is great. And of course, we need to keep this guy alive, which is the biggest challenge of all. We've changed locations. Are you okay? <laughs> it's so awkward. What is that? I fished up a swordfish? What the? Yo! Okay, yo, check this out. You don't care, do you? I fished up a swordfish. That's actually ridiculous. I wonder if you can enchant this. What? The swordfish is a food or is it a weapon? Don't know. You can figure it out when you fish yourself one up. Okay, that's not helpful whatsoever. It has four attack damage and two attack speed. So it's not the greatest weapon. But still, that's, that's pretty cool. And gets us another achievement as well. <gasps> no way we just got one. <laughs> oh my god that's like that's ridiculously lucky we just got a name tag <laughs> i can't believe that just happened i've just thought as well we're gonna need to stop doing this you uh we're gonna need to get a anvil anyway because we need a name tag to name the zombies so that it doesn't despawn that's the whole reason for this but we actually got one that's ridiculous. I think what I want to do is find a desert biome because I feel like the biomes all around us are just terrible. It'll be easier to find desert temples and stuff like that. But I also want to get some more iron, I guess, now so I can actually build this iron farm. Or do I want to just spawn in an iron golem myself? So I'm going to need the, a little bit more iron than I do an anvil to make an iron golem. Let's get some more babies on the go as well, please. There you Oh, that was terrible. There you go. Enjoy. All right. I guess we're going zombie hunting. We need we need to block an attack from a zombie, headshot a zombie, and then get the flesh. The flesh is going to be the most annoying one. And and if you keep teleporting in front of me, things might get bad real quick. All right. Let's see what we can find down here. I'm going to grab as much iron as possible as well, just to make this golem. So let's see how much iron we can get. We need 9, 18. We need 27 iron to make an anvil. And that's what we're going to need first. Now, I don't like you being down here, so please be on your best behavior. That says Geomancer. I don't know if he's going to attack me, though. Where are you? Oh, 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 oh. Wait, is he up there already? How are you up there already? There he is. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's opened his arms. No, 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 no. Okay, Um, what do we do? What do we do? Geomancer, a very strange and dangerous illagers. Great, the only spawn underground. They summon magical pillars to trap and explode you. Oh, these are from the Minecraft dungeons. They drop cobble, deep slate, amethyst dust, amethyst shards, and pristine amethyst gemstones. Okay, I thought we were going to be able to like trade with this guy or something, but apparently he's a psychopath. So if you come over here, I'm going to try and kill it. How dangerous are we talking? They summon magical pillars to trap and explode you. Yeah, I remember that. I kind of want to see what he does. I think you're a little bit too close. Let's go over here. 
Right, stay there for a second. I'm going to go and deal with business. I'm going to hit it and see what happens. Oh. Wait. Wait. No! <laughs> I'm just going to do it. Let's see what happens. I dare you. Oh. Ah! Okay. Oh, God, no. Oh, jeez. Yep, 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 yep. We, um, we need to not do that. Do you see how much damage that just did to me? What? I shouldn't have hit him. I should not have hit him. I've, I've already made him angry. Right, full health is here. Ah! Ah! Ah, no, I don't want you following me. What do you want? I think this is actually the perfect strategy. The old hit and run. If he spawns an explosive pillar right behind me, though. Oh, God, I don't need you. No, 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 stop. Stop this this instant. Oh, I just got a quest thing. What was that? Block an attack from a zombie. That was a skeleton. I will take it. Hey, come here. No, 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 Don't spawn it in here. I'm going to need a two wide block or something. <laughs> this guy's terrifying me. Got your toes. Got your toes. Got your toes. Yes. Geode geezer. Find and kill a geomancer deep on the ground. That's not, um, that's not too bad. But I've got this. Fine and crystalline. Obtain the main fuel of jewelry. Amethyst dust. Let's go. Oh, okay. We're like close to the deep slate here. Um, Let's go and pick up our villager friend. That's filled me with confidence, which is probably not a great thing. I'm also a little bit worried about my villagers now because I've left them up the top and it's probably, it's probably dark. Ooh. Oh, we've like wrapped round here. Okay. So let's make sure we're safe. Oh, there's more iron down. Oh, there's so much iron down here. This is where we found the diamonds, wasn't it? Okay, sweet. Oh, look at this. Oh, creeper, creeper. Creepers are actually one of the most dangerous right now because they can kill the villager in one shot. Um, Let's leave. And the longer we spend down here, the more chance that we could die. Let's face it, I'm fine. It's... What? What the? Okay, I need to block. This is awkward. This is, this is very, very awkward. Are you going to hug me? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Right, creeper. No! Oh! Why? He spawned right in front of the creeper. You stupid, stay here. Oh my word. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought he was going to die. I thought it was over. Oh my God. My heart was in my mouth for a second. He literally jumped in front of a creeper that was just about to explode. We need to have talks, buddy, because this is... That's the dumbest thing you've done so far. We should get out of here. We should definitely get out of here right now. Oh, that was so stressful. We actually found one of the powerful villagers as well, which wasn't too bad because we managed to not come across him normally. If we come across one of those normally, dude, I think we're in big trouble. <laughs> we survived the explosion as well. Everyone else survived the explosion. How's everyone doing? Oh my God, we got twins. I'm just extremely ecstatic to be home. <laughs> so after this, we should have enough for an anvil. We should have enough for another golden apple as well, which is good. Then we can start building this flipping farm. Now, I said it was going to be annoying because we need to get villagers and a zombie in different places, which is going to be frustrating. Hopefully, we can build on the ground, but I need to build it somewhere else. Oh, that's so cute. I'm glad that happened. Let's build over here, maybe. Or is that too far? I think it needs to be away from the villager breeder. Let's, bre let's build over here. This might be enough room. I need to research how I need to build this. I think we only need a five by six for this particular one. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three four, five, six. Of course you go in there. Of course. All right, out you come. Out you come, buddy. Oh, there's like a zombie underneath. That actually might be quite helpful. Oh my goodness. Three new villagers. This is perfect. I think I need three actually for this farm. All right, let's grab. I need a jack-o'-lantern. Um, I have a pumpkin somewhere, don't I? Oh, here it is. Okay, sweet. I need to put down pumpkin seeds anyway, because I'm going to need one for the golem anyway. So let's do that. Let's put pumpkin down. Shear it. Then make a jack-o'-lantern. So the reason I need this is to make light. Right, then we need beds. Because basically this is going to work in a similar way as the villager farm does. So you make 
kind of like a mini village and then you add a zombie in to make it scared it works exactly the same as the one in our old hardcore world where the zombie makes the villagers scared and then they spawn in the iron golems which I, I think i've mentioned already but this one's a little bit more compact than the other one and we don't have to get them in the air which was the most annoying thing about the previous one so for this one the zombie sits here it can't actually hit the villagers i think it's in a minecart in this one but um it's way easier than having them suspended in the air. Now, for this farm, we do actually need five hoppers. So we might need a little bit more um, iron. Let me go and check. Let me make the anvil first. So might need to go on another little expedition. I did collect a little bit extra, though. 50 iron. So we need iron blocks. We need three of those. Anvils are so expensive. Why is this a thing? So that's our anvil. We've got 19 left. I don't think that's going to be enough. I think I need 20. I need 25. I need six more. But at least we have an anvil now. That's actually pretty cool. Expensive, but cool. You know what? See if you can befriend the horse. Make yourself useful. Go talk to it. All right, this should be enough iron, actually. This will be just enough. Might need some more wood as well, but we'll figure it out. Oh, this is huge under here. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's so many mobs. So many. Let's get you out of here. Didn't even drop flesh. Oh, there's another one. Why is there always creepers? Always. Okay, got you. I want your... Yes, give me the flesh. I'm so glad you weren't down there. That was, uh, that was pretty tragic. It could have been worse, though. All right, let's do this. Excuse me, sir. I would like to leave. Why do you stand in the most awkward spaces? I didn't want you standing there. That should be set up nicely. I think that's where the golems are going to die, like on this one. And then all of the stuff will go in the chest. And we can make it go down if we want to. And there should be plenty of space to inc increase the storage if we want to as well. So nice. Okay, so the storage is on this side. You build like a wall between them because you want them to be separate. In case in the beds, this is going to be glass upside down stair here dirt here and this is where the uh the zombie is gonna sit in this little slab now all we need to make is the top part and then we're pretty much done so the top part is going to be the lava which kills the iron golem and this is just so you can see what on earth is going on in there right top top chamber done i think lava goes there water in the corner and i think that's it done i mean we need to put the zombie and the villagers in but that's pretty much done it is ugly but hopefully it will be functional as with all of these farms i'm just kind of doing it for function at the moment and then i will overhaul them afterwards like get rid of all this when the pumpkins are grown but for now with baby steps tiny little baby villager steps see where am i gonna get uh some lava from i'm gonna risk it i'm gonna see if we can grab this oh yes no 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 this is not okay you can't just do that to me i took one little risk one and you fire things at me and disappear unreal behavior i have the goods now hopefully my villager friend will not did that work yeah minecraft physics everyone now we need to waterlog both stairs if we do that and then grab this from here. If you go in that lava, this is not a villager farm. This is not a farm for you to be farmed in. Yeah, that looks perfect. The next mission is the villagers and then the zombie. And then I think this thing is done. So I think we have three over here, right? Three villagers. One, two, three. All very closely packed in together. Let's see if these guys want to come out. Hey, my man. All right, let's bring you over here. And then we'll do the same as what we did last time. We'll put down beds. And then because these are fresh villagers, they should go straight in the bed. No problem. Look at this. It's beautiful. When it gets to nighttime, I break the boats and they should all rush into there. As long as actually you stay right there. I don't want you stealing none of the beds. As soon as these guys sleep, I'm busting them out. Are they sleeping? I'm guessing so. Right. Let's see if this works. Bed, 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 bedtime, bedtime, chipapis this way. Where are you going? Look at that. Fresh bed just for you. Don't be shy. What's the problem? 
Hey, wait, 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 wait. Might change his mind. Did you see the sparkles? Go on. Go on. There we go. Perfecto. You're now trapped for life. I, I hope. Anyway, did they stay in? Are they in hotel TDM where you check in, but you never check out? I think <laughs> I think they're here. They're ready. I don't think they can get out either. Hello, friends. Pleasure to have you as guests. So for this last part, I think I'm going to need... I, I think all I need is the uh, zombie. I think. Yeah, yeah, zombie. You heard right. Sorry. Which means we need minecart and rails. Do I have iron for minecart and rails? I'm going to guess no. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Eight. Eight isn't too bad. Nine. Hold up. Oh, we need the name tag as well. I completely forgot. Where's my anvil? Where did I put it? <laughs> oh, wait. There's six more in here. I think we might be all right, you know. We need five for a minecart rails 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 16 rails perfect now we just need to set the trap for the zombie i think if we do this the zombie should be able to go through there if we do that oh i need this guy to not go actually i don't think he can go in the minecart he could knock it though don't knock the minecart. So we need zombie to follow us, which means we wait, need to wait till nighttime. We then need to catch it in the minecart or just like lure it to here and knock it in. And then I think it will work. Won't he be able to, won't he be able to hit the villagers though? I think he's going to be able to do it. This might go wrong. Actually, I think I leave the zombie in the minecart. So we need to go and find a zombie or wait till nighttime. Let me see if I can go find one. I don't think I'll be able to find one in time let's see i need a zombie that's all i need oh i need a name i need a name for this boy what are we gonna call it let me find one and i'll decide i need to know his personality first oh my god oh my god i found one <laughs> i found a chicken jockey though that's not what i wanted at all look at it it's beautiful i i really don't like killing them because they're so rare but it's not the zombie i was looking for that's the zombie i was looking for i don't think it's going to survive. Did it have to bring a creeper with it? Did you have to do that? Stop. He's going to die. He's actually going to die. No. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to wait till nighttime. It'll be way easier. You know, one thing we can do in the meantime is we're working towards this anyway. Uh, we can headshot a zombie, I think. Uh, we just need a bow. We don't actually have one yet, so... Let's craft one. I have... Do I have string? I'm sure I have string somewhere. Did I craft one already? My brain just is not working today. Oh, I might have used it for wool, you know. I might have actually done that. Right, we need you in the bunker for this because mobs are going to be spawning. So you chill in there uh, <laughs> for your own safety and so you don't annoy me. Oh God, this is going to be stressful, isn't it? I need a zombie. Look at him. It looks so weird. <laughs> it's even weirder that I'm watching them sleep. Uh, have we got any zombies around here? I'm just chilling. I would love for you to come and help me out. I'm employing. I'm hiring. You. Come to me. Fella, you have been chosen for the greatest job. Um, oh, there's one over there. Never mind. I will kill you, though. I am going to kill you. I need your flesh. Oh, God. So many things are spawning. As long as it's not creepers, I'm kind of okay with it. Oh. All right, this is the man right here. We've got a clear path. I right, come over here. I've got two attempts at this, as long as something else doesn't spawn. So I need them to come, like, over here and get in the minecart. Get in. Get in, boy. Get in. Get in. Yes! <laughs> Wait, why is it burning? Okay, it's not burning. I'm just stupid. How do I push him in? He's going to hurt me. Get in. Get in. How did you just get out? Excuse me? That's not how this works, buddy. Go sleep. Oh, look, one spawned already. No way. All right, you get in there. Perfect. How are you getting out? All right, get in. I'm going to leave that there, actually. I think that's the problem. No creepers. Chill in. All right, let's see if that works. We have one golem. But I think I need to protect the rest of this. Oh, he's going. He's going. Yes! Yes, buddy, let's go. I would high five you, but I don't want to die. Yeah, I need string as well. Come here, you. Oh, that's a oh, that's a powerful spider. Why are you gassed up? Whoa, 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 whoa. No string either. 
Yo, you guys are stingy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sleep real quick. It looks like my villager is still alive, which is good. That was a little bit more stressful than it needed to be. Right. Okay. So the uh, the iron golem farm works. Oh, I need to name this boy as well, don't I? Are they scared still? You guys terrified? I hope so. We shall name him uh, Pat Patrice. That's how you spell that. This is our lucky name tag. All right, Patrice. Welcome to the gang, buddy. <laughs> That's probably not even how you spell it. Okay, this should work now. Um, the problem is that we seem to be having them spawn on the outside. I need, I desperately need your iron, buddy. I'm going to have to slay him. I'm going to have to kill him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not how I die. This is not how I die. Oh, I should have thought this through. I have, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Please don't kill me. I'm genuinely scared of him. Is he going to come after me? Are you gonna? Oh god, he's coming after me. Who told me to do this? This was a terrible idea. Hello. Oh, I can get him from here. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this because he didn't land in the farm properly. I think what I need to do is get some carpet and then put it around the edge of this farm. But it's it's working. It's definitely spawning in golems, which is perfect. That's all we need for an early farm. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. How much iron did you drop? Four. Let's go. Oh, there's another one already. Is he going to hurt me? Does he know what I've done? Did he see? No, you're good. Okay, you're, you're safe. Uh, I'm going to lay these just right here. No particular reason, but I'm just going to lay them here, all right? Let's get rid of this. Perfect. To be honest, the world's coming together. It all looks a bit terrible but we're only starting out and we've got ourselves an iron farm already that i just need to i just need to flatten out this this land here all right killing them is too risky i can't i can't do that all right it took me a little while but i finally figured it out so i did what i had to do what, what i thought i had to do and cover the spawn area for the golems with unspawnable material i was gonna do carpets but i can't afford carpets so i went the natural vegan route leaves we use leaves and check it out <laughs> it's ugly and it's also not the same type of leaf all the way around because apparently these trees are all different but it finally works so the yeah, mobs can't spawn on leaves so the only option they have is to spawn in the uh in the water which brings them towards the lava which means you can't protect anyone <laughs> now i went wrong a few times i do have 19 iron ingots from hand destroying hand killing iron golems we won't talk about that because that's um yeah that's that's bad when you got villagers working for you they don't want to hear that but we've got 16 iron from this already 16 plus the 19 we should be able to pass that um we should be able to pass that quest in no time mission successful and then the main thing we need to do is try and find a desert biome uh let's let's celebrate the end by summoning an iron golem how many do we need nine 18, 27, 38, 30, 38, nope, 37, something like that. Let's say 40. <laughs> but these are pretty easy ones. We just need to slay a husk. I don't actually know what the reward's going to be. And I don't know if we're going to get a reward because the person who gave us it, the person who gave us the quest, the villager, died. He, he died a very bad death. Actually, let's check if the bread farm is working too. Oh, it's working it's working i will take my bread and eat it <laughs> let's go okay finally we have um we have some efficiency going on in a series of mine all right this iron golem isn't going to want to kill me hopefully so let's build it and complete the next part of our quest it's not a normal pumpkin is it i'm sure it's one with a face on it i'm sure yo what the oh there we go i don't know what happened but um hello How's it going? I didn't kill any of your friends. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'm going to stay in here. This guy needs to stay alive. I'm getting flashbacks from the first hardcore series we did. Right, with a little help from my friend, we've done that. So now we need to find desert biome. We need to do a headshot on a zombie and 64 rotten flesh, which we've got 25 of, which isn't actually too bad. I've, I feel like I've neglected you right now, but um, we had to keep you safe from that crazy geomancer from before. Oh, what a day. Uh, Yo, what the? What did I just grab? Oh, it's there. It's right underneath us. Okay, right. We found it. That's amazing. Subscribe, please.